Hello, once again, welcome to our YouTube channel, Jijo Gadgets. Yes, uh, today I'll be making a video unboxing. Okay, so before I proceed, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click on the bell notification for future video. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. Okay, so you can see on my table here, I got one package here. Okay, so it's a very good packing. All right. Sorry about that. So, okay, this is a uh, Ichin Novice one. Okay, Ichin Novice one. There you are. Okay. Each in novice one. Okay. All right. So came with a beautiful soft case back. No hard case actually. With the handle. Wow. Cool. Okay. So it's very nice. All right. So let's open up and see. Whoa. Here we go. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. So, right. This is the bag. Uh, of course, here you can see some goodies in this dip also. Okay. So we come back onto that. So let's see. So this is the remote. Okay, so it feels like a game remote. Okay, wow. Okay, more to like toy grade remote. And uh, this one used the uh, four triple A battery. Okay, there's a USB port here for I think for configuration also. Okay, wow. Feels good, right? So this is the quad, right? So this is the quad novice one. It's a seventy-five mm and one to two s brushes whoop. Okay, the wheelbase is a seventy-five mm, right? So actually, the weight from the website is a thirty-three gram without battery. Okay, it looks like Mobula, Mobula Seven. Okay, the design. Uh, but here shows a bigger compartment for the battery, right? It's, uh, very very light, right? Okay. Um, okay. The FC is a Nano X F4 Pro Flight Controller. Okay. So it's uh came with a better flight OSD support, and also with RSSI voltage. You can see the OSD the current from your Goggles, okay, and then you can adjust the uh, camera angle as well. And the VTX that provided is switchable from uh, 25 milliwatt to 200 milliwatt, which means this can fly more than 100 meter, okay, without uh, any any what do you call this uh, <laughs> uh, disturb the disturbance on the the range the video fit, okay, so. Compatible with a uh, 1S or 2S Lipo battery, all right? Okay. Uh, the motto. What about the motto? The motto is NC1102. It's a uh, KV13500, 13500,000. Okay. Okay. Looks good. So let's see what other thing that we have here. Okay. The come with the ESC. It's a BL Heli ESC four in one with D shot six hundred ready. Okay, so this model is a Fry Sky model. Okay, with a D at SPI receiver. It's a built in Fry Sky D at SPI receiver. Okay, okay, nice, nice. 
Okay, uh, yeah. And the, uh, aha, uh -huh, yes. The camera used is the Runcam Nano 2, okay? Runcam Nano 2, it, it is a 700 TVL, okay? Uh, I think which is uh, very good, okay? I seldom see a tiny whoop that is using Runcam as a Nano as this. And, okay, alright. So let's put the side. So this is the goggles. Okay. Goggles uh, with the brand name of Ichin. Okay. So probably I can just switch on this and try if it's, it is work. There you are. With Ichin logo. Alright. The OEM Ichin logo. Now, what else we have here? So this is the six-way charger where you can charge the LiPo or the LIHV high voltage uh, battery. Okay. So this is looks good. All right. Okay. So let's see what we have over here on this uh, compartment. Okay. Uh, this is the manual book. Uh, manual configuration for for your goggle and for your remote and then this is for the the quad the quad and the charging part yes and also the binding part okay so it's english okay no malay no chinese all right okay what is this this is the uh the cables connector and also the antenna for the FPV goggle okay with a USB charger AV cable and two 5.8G antenna okay so this is the sling strap for the back here you can where you can just hook up and carry a bag as a sling bag okay oh that's good with the bag and okay this is the uh extra propeller for extra propeller and also a propeller wrench opener a screwdriver and also uh yes this is a terminator okay it's a terminator head for you to connect to the quad when you are using one s battery to fly not bad okay sounds good and for this package it's supposed to come with 10 1 S lipo sorry LIHB high voltage battery okay 300 mAh so I got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nine finally ten so oops sorry ten battery okay where you can put there's a compartment here let's prepare the back so okay no more okay looks good so i just want to put aside first just want to try out the the quad if it is can power on so i power up the fpv goggle all right so this is the quad let's try to power up so i'm plugging in two battery will be two s right there you are okay as you can see in the google right that's my pc Not bad. Very clear. Very clear. Oops. Okay, so it's working here. The FPV is working fine. Okay. Okay, looks good. Looks good. 
okay so let's uh take my battery and uh connect to the remote so four piece of uh triple a battery okay Okay, I heard a beep, so it's power up. There you are. Okay, all right. <laughs> it's just like a game controller. And we power up the quad, and of course, the uh, FPV Google. Google, you have to power up to see the image and then the arming sign. Okay, so it's connected, and uh, this is supposed to be arming. No, no response. Oh, yes, there you are. Okay. So oh, the throttle is working. So this is how you arm. Okay, you'll see that function. So okay, it's working. So the rest of the thing will be shown is shown on the uh the manual book. Okay, the steps that how you bind and also how you start off. There you are. There's a stable mode and also acro mode. Okay, and more than acro mode. And then how you charge and then how you bind. And also the configuration of the uh, VTX as well. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Okay. So, thank you for watching.